Was Jesus really born in Bethlehem? You might think it's obvious from the Christmas story, but did you know there's some serious doubt as to whether Jesus was actually born in Bethlehem? The earliest accounts of Jesus only mention Nazareth, not Bethlehem. The earliest writings about Jesus are the Gospel of Mark and Paul's writings, which predate the other Gospels by several decades. Neither Paul nor Mark make any mention of Jesus' birth. All we know from Mark is that Jesus was believed to be from Nazareth. Of course, some might argue that it was widely known that Jesus was born in Bethlehem, and there was no need to mention it. However, the Gospel of John implies that Jesus did not have ties to Bethlehem. John 7.42 records the crowd saying, Has not the scripture said that the Messiah is descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? This implies that the crowd did not believe Jesus had any connection to Bethlehem. Some have argued that John is being ironic here, and that he expected the reader to know more than the crowd, but this isn't clear, and irony is hard to prove. John could also be describing a real problem people had with Jesus being from Nazareth instead of Bethlehem. It would seem that Matthew and Luke both independently tried to solve this Bethlehem problem. And I say independently because Matthew and Luke's birth accounts contradict each other. Matthew has Joseph talking to the angel, where Luke has the angel visit Mary instead. Joseph's father in Matthew is Jacob, in Luke it's Heli. In Matthew, Mary and Joseph's home is in Bethlehem, Judea, only moving to Nazareth after the return from Egypt. In Luke, their hometown is Nazareth, and they only travel to Bethlehem for the census. Luke also omits the Magi and Herod's baby-killing plan, while Matthew makes no mention of the shepherds or the inn. Probably the most irreconcilable discrepancy relates to the contradictory hometowns. In Luke, the family lives in Nazareth. They travel to Bethlehem for the census, where they stay at the inn until Jesus is around 40 days old, after which they take him to Jerusalem for the redemption rites. And then it says, when that was done, they went back to Nazareth, their hometown. In Matthew, they are living in Bethlehem. Judea is their home. So then the Magi arrive. The text doesn't say when, but it implies that it was some time before Jesus was two years old. On the same day the Magi leave, the family picks up that night and flees straight to Egypt. They are in Egypt until Herod dies, which could have been anything from a few months to a few years, the text doesn't say. After which, the family is too scared to return to Judea, where they had been living because of Herod's son, so they make a new home in Nazareth. The two series of events are completely contradictory. Attempts to reconcile these two accounts usually go something like this, that after baby Jesus was dedicated at the temple, the family returned to Bethlehem, met the Magi, and did the whole Egypt thing. The problem is, this ignores the contradicting hometowns. In Luke, after Jesus has been dedicated at the temple, there's simply no reason for the family to have gone back to Bethlehem to wait who knows how long for the Magi to show up. It wasn't their home. And the events in Matthew could have taken up to two years in Bethlehem. No Roman census would have ever required that. In fact, no Roman census ever required people to return to their ancestral homes at all. There is no evidence that a Roman census ever required people to go back to their ancestral homes. That would have defeated the point of the census. Not only that, but in the time of Herod, Judea wasn't even a Roman province, so there wouldn't be any Roman census there. There was a census of Judea under Quirinius, as Luke mentions, but that happened nearly a decade after Herod in the book of Matthew had died. The two accounts are set 10 years apart. Plus, in Luke, Joseph lives in Galilee. The census of Quirinius wouldn't have even applied to him. The most obvious explanation of these contradictions is that Matthew and Luke developed their Bethlehem narratives to meet messianic expectations. As we saw in John 7, at the time of Jesus, there was a belief that the Messiah would come from Bethlehem. Micah 5.2 speaks of an Israelite ruler coming from the clan of Bethlehem Ephrata, within Judah. In its original context, it wasn't necessarily predicting a Messiah born in Bethlehem, but rather referring to an individual from the clan of Bethlehem, a descendant of David more generally. 
but obviously the Greek-speaking authors of Matthew and Luke thought that it referred to the town of birth. But Jesus was widely known to have come from Nazareth, which presented a problem. For this reason, Luke and Matthew have constructed their narrative in a way to get Jesus to Bethlehem. Matthew even quotes Micah 5.2, a clear indication of why he had Jesus born in Bethlehem. Matthew also portrays Jesus as a new Moses and ties the Bethlehem birth story into his allusions to the Exodus. Matthew and Luke appear to have identified the problem of Jesus of Nazareth independently and solved it by getting Jesus to Bethlehem in their respective birth narratives. The birth narratives are most likely a literary invention. Their accounts don't line up with each other or what we know of the history of the time. So is there any relationship between the two birth accounts? Most scholars argue that Matthew and Luke wrote independently of each other using a common source. However, some do think Luke corrected or changed Matthew. An emerging theory is that Luke 1 to 2 is an independent tradition added to Luke later. Anyway, if you haven't angrily clicked off by now because I've tried to ruin Christmas, I have a Patreon and YouTube channel memberships, so consider supporting the channel. My name's Lachlan, you've been watching Bible Unboxed, have a great Christmas and I'll see you next year.